Hi, I'm George. And I'm Sarah. And today I'm going to interview Sarah about a very interesting meeting she had at the council offices yesterday. Okay, uh, so I popped along to the council. They were um, hosting a meeting inviting all of the retailers and businesses of the town. So I thought as we were looking to buy commercial in the town, we thought uh, I'd better go along. Uh, there's a chap called Graham Galpin. He um, is actually, he's an Ashford, Ashford councillor, um, but he's also part of um, an expert panel, a national expert panel on um, the future of the high street. So he's going around and talking to all the, the towns just to um, get the message over to them. Hmm. Um, and you've, I've already seen in the news about a number of major retailers closing down. Um, how did how did he envision um, the high street changing in the future? Well, they're thinking that that's just going to continue. That um, more high street chains are going to go down. So he was mentioning um, sort of larger ones, kind of Debenhams, Marks and Spencer, that kind of size. I mean, he's not talking about those specifically, but the, the big chains. Um, and he was quite pleased that high street was predominantly made of independents because. That's what they're looking for, I think, in the future. They think that the independents are likely to survive, and obviously some chains will survive, but it, it's going to be much more based on smaller retailers. Hmm. And, um, and um, tell, me about, tell me about this fund and what it will be used for. Okay, well, um, they've actually managed to convince the government to give them £675 million. Wow. I know, exactly. It's not like a little tiny <laughs> fund. I get here. some of that? I it's, need a little bit. To yeah, pass no. Um, it's called the Future of the High Street Fund, so it's specifically donated to, um, it's going to be given out in portions to towns, you have to apply for it and put forward it sort of a proposal and a business plan um, to improve your town specifically, so um, it's, yeah, it's really interesting. Um, uh, what they're looking for the, the money to go towards specifically is um, adapting the high street to the, the new environment, obviously have a lot of people doing internet shopping, so they're looking to make the high street a lot more experiential rather than just somewhere you pop and buy one thing. So they're looking for people to go and drink coffee and have experiences mm. and play with their children. I love coffee. Yeah. And um, also they're, they're very pro events, so sort of Christmas fairs and um, special days um, to drive people to the town specifically. Mm. Um, Another thing they were talking about is reconfiguring space. They appreciate that there's probably more retail than is required. Um, so they're looking at repurposing um, retail to residential and also to offices. So um, the people can be mixed in with the retail, which will obviously then have people to go to the shops, which um, mm -hmm. will help. And um, improving phys physical infrastructure. Um, each town's different, so every town will be basically putting forward a different proposal to deal with their specific problems that they have um, so parking or access or you know green spaces or whatever needs to be improved in their specific town and just literally tidying it up cleaning it painting it things like that just to make it a, a nicer place to be um, also filling um, retail space that's empty with sort of other sort of community projects just so the whole high street just looks a bit better it doesn't look quite so run down mm. um so it's, it's a nicer place and that people actually want to go mm. okay i mean i think um you know mixing in the resident residential and the retail means there's you know there's an opportunity for property mm. investors out there yeah um, which is great um what about um support for heritage buildings in the town yeah that was something you mentioned specifically actually there's, there's a particular chunk of the fund which is um, being put towards specifically heritage towns and heritage towns that there, there isn't a specific definition if you call yourself a heritage town and can prove it basically you're a heritage town um, so one thing that they've mentioned specifically is um, bringing historic buildings back into use so say there's a historic building that needs a lot of money spending on it and the, the landlord can't afford that um, it, it's possible I think to apply for grant funding specifically to bring that into use to retail or residential or office or some kind of um, use so it doesn't drag the rest of the building, uh, the rest of the town down. Mm -hmm. um, what about planning permission? Yeah, one thing he mentioned, I don't think this is actually in the report, this is more his kind of opinion, because uh, obviously he's um, an Ashford councillor, so that's my cat in the background. <laughs> <laughs> he's found something to play with. Mm. Um, yeah, he was saying that there's been a lot of talk about making it easier to change uh, the retail use class um, sort of between A1 and A3. He wasn't talking about going any further than that. Um, just to, he thinks that the planning process is too laborious. 
um, and that that may be something that either locally or potentially nationally that, that could be looked at to make it simpler for retail to be let um, to different people basically to, to make mm. things not sit there empty if there is, isn't a demand for the A1 then perhaps if it was easier to get an A3 in there mm. then potentially that may improve matters so that's a, that's a great opportunity again for property investors yeah mm. yeah I mean particularly if the planning is easier it, it makes it a lot simpler and less risky to take mm. on a property but yeah I mean there's um, there'll be more things going forward and I'll be going along to f further meetings to see what's going on in our town because it's good to get involved I think in mm -hmm. your local town so that's what I'm going to be doing great so um, yeah you're going to keep, keep us up to I'll interview you again when you have yeah. an update when there's another meeting and we'll let you know okay thanks <laughs>